flat wing tie. Not really, but it's uh, the best of two worlds in my opinion. I really like to fish jiggy flies and I really like to fish flat wings. So I thought, why not put them two, two together and kind of do something that is a little bit uh, of both worlds. So this is my um, pattern that I came up with uh, last spring, which we had a lot of uh, good success with some nice sea trout on it. And it's basically a flat wing with a fish gull or a bait fish head from uh, out of metal. So it doesn't sink as fast and as um, rapid as a jiggy fly but it still it has much, much more movement than a, than a flat wing. So I think it's a really, really good pattern. It's easy to cast. Uh, it's not as big as a really big flat wing, but I, I really like it. And it's really a good pattern for big sea trout when they're feeding on smelt or herring or, or big minnows. And of course, a lot of people, when they tie a, a big flat wing, they use a, a stinger in the back. And I agree with that, you know, if you're tying a flat wing that that size and, and you're fishing that uh, uh, unweighted and quite fast, sometimes a lot of the small fish goes a nibble. But as soon as you put a, a head in front of it, so it becomes much more of a jiggy movement, I think they have a much more tendency to go for the head um, than, than just nibble in the back. So I prefer not to have it on these type of flies. And definitely if you're fishing this for perch, you don't need a stinger at all because they basically almost go for the head and suck that head in. So super good pattern for perch and a killer pattern for big sea trout uh, in late of the season. So one of my favorite. We're going to tie it on actually my favorite pike hook, but in a much smaller size. This is the Trout Predator in size one. This is an awesome pike hook in size 4.0 and 6.0. But now we're gonna run it in a size one. It's a little bit heavier wire, wide gape, and it's just a perfect hook for this type of flies. Ooh, <laughs> Oopsan! Ska jag nog ta från någon annan det här för den här jävla backdelen? <laughs> Baby pipeline! <laughs> ja, <men fan. laughs> When you tie a fly like this, we want this fly to have really good movement, both when it sinks down and when it swims like this. And to be able to create that in the best way, um, I have a good friend, Marcus Setteblad in Stockholm. He's really the master of flat wings, in my opinion. So he showed me this a long time ago, you know, that when you want that fish or that fly to move really well, both this direction and this direction, you take the, the longer feather on the top and you place it like this and you tie it in like this because it's going to swim really well this way but it will not swim really good that way so then you take two feathers and tie them on on each side and you tie them on the on the opposite angle so you tie them in like this and they will swim really well this direction so this one combined with those two you're gonna have a fly that moves really well in all directions and then when you come to the front part of the fly so that's basically going to be the tail which is going to be three feathers here one longer on the top and two on the sides and then we're going to do a dubbing body and then when we come to the front we're going to repeat that again so we're going to put two olive feathers here and then one white and one grizzly dyed olive on the top just to be able to get that movement set so they swim really well and so you kind of build that into the whole concept that's a really good tip and check out my cassette blog on instagram and you will see some of his beautiful patterns
Sports Genome, there will be a full material list and a short summary of the fly on the description down below here. So you can find all the information you need to be able to tie this. So five minutes later, and uh, well, I'm gonna take that clamp off. And we're just going to kind of finish this with some glue here. Uh, so we take some thin metal on top here, just to make this a little bit stronger. Let it sink down here a little bit. And just hold it in the shape I want. Just the water will do this by itself, but I like to get it in a little bit shape because I don't want it to be as bulky as a flat wing. I want to be a little bit more uh, narrow and more of a jiggy style fly. I think it fish well better like that. Continue getting that nice trigger point and feeling of gills here. So I'm gonna start filling this up here with the red, fluor red. And then we're going to top it off with a thin man here. So here we have it, Jiggy Fly slash Flatwing. A super good pattern for big sea trout and perch. As normal, if you want to win this fly, please leave a comment in the uh, on the YouTube page and please subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Tie a lot of flies, catch big sea trout, and have a great time out there. <laughs>